Remember that movie again? Encanto. Thank you, sir. All right. Commissioner Sanders. Thank you so much. Just want to put out an announcement on April 19th at 6.30 p.m. right here in our boardroom. Commissioner Henderson and I will be hosting a community meeting, so that's open to the public on April 19th at 6.30 p.m. We will also put out some notification. Um, just want to uh, clear up some information. I had the opportunity to listen and watch the video from the community meeting, and there was some information that was actually stated. Um, my fellow colleague, Commissioner Cowan, mentioned that the question was posed was, why didn't we not go back and look at the 62 acres of land? <clears throat> and so Commissioner Cowan stated that he spoke to Ms. Monk twice, and he asked her to, to actually bring down her price. So when I heard that, I also called Ms. Monk. Ms. Monk stated, and she don't have a problem coming before the board, she said that no one asked her to come, had came back before her to negotiate or asked her to come down on her price. She said when she spoke to Commissioner Cowan, they only talked about her putting a senior service facility on her land. She said she'd rather put a parks and rec versus putting more homes on Fairview Road. And I want to expound on that. There was a statement made that I must know Ms. Monk, and I want to put that out there. I didn't meet Ms. Monk until she came to me to actually talk about putting actual property, 300 homes on Fairview Road, and she asked for my opinion. At that time, I found out that she was a commissioner 30 years ago, had never met her, first time even meeting her. Once I found out about the land and the information, I brought that to Parks and Rec as a suggestion of placing that there, gave them the information, and they took care of everything. So I just want to put that out there. I also want to expound on that 62 <clears throat> acres of land. On that 62 acres of land, this is what can happen. Walkable area within a community of three schools, not placing it in an area of an intersection where children would have to cross the street. We just recently had an incident where a child was hit by a car trying to cross the intersection in District 3. Um, Fairview Road has 19 subdivisions. Jack Neely has over 16, almost 19, 20 subdivisions. Kirkland Road also has about 16, 17 subdivisions. So also on Fairview Road, we, all, we received a grant from Congressman Hank Johnson to build walkable and bikeable trails. So I want you to think about that. What is the most feasible area to place a youth facility for our youth, parks and rec, our senior services, also ball fields on 62 acres of land, which would also save money because one of those projects can pay for the land and then we're building. So you have funding from the youth facility, you have funding from the West Side Park, and you have funding from senior services. Why would you require all three of those entities who are going to be coming on the west side of Newton County to each buy individual land? You ask me, does that make sense? Thank you. Commissioner.